Yes, in this video, we are going to see the overriding method in PHP. So what is overriding? Overriding happens only in inheritance. It will not happen in the same class. First of all, we will see what is overriding. When two methods have the same name. So for example, in the parent class, we have a method called X. And in child class also, it has a method called X. Then which will be executed? It's nothing but only the child, which is the latest, the inherited method, the one which is present in the child, that only will be executed. So for example, here we have a parent class called animal and we have a child class called dog. Now, these are all some local variables of this class and we have some function, uh, two functions are the move and eat. And this is inherited by the child dog. Now, this has its own local functions and we it has a name, a function name called move. And here also it has a function name called move. Everything is same. Signatures means uh, parameters. There are no parameters. And even if there are parameters, it is also maybe the same. So in that case, which will be executed? So but this is also move and this is also move. Exactly same. The name of the function, everything is same. Then only this will be executed. The one which is present in the derived class only will be executed. So this override the parent class. That's why the meaning overriding. So this is a overriding and this is overridden method. This will be overridden by this child class. Now, uh, say for example, a, a little bit, little bit more elaborately, I'll explain in this. Let us imagine we have a class called student and we have some local variables and we have a function called display. Okay, and it has its own uh, set of execution lines, etc. And class mark extends student. That is, it is inheriting this. Then this also has its own display. So when you are de design, uh, when you are instantiating that obj1, uh, that is an object, which is of type child. Now when you call the function display, which will be executed? This or this? Definitely only this will be the child class, uh, the ch child function only will be executed. It will, the parent will not be executed. So if I want the parent to be executed, then what I have to do? I have to call the, uh, like this parent and with two colon, and then I have to write this thing. So when I write like this, I can directly write here also. So when I want uh, this to be executed, parent this way, then I have to suffix the keyword parent and along with the double colon and then the name of the one which is to be executed. The name of the function, which is the same name function, overriding function, I have to give. Now this will, even if that is, it will call this and then each in turn will call this. Now, uh, say uh, as an example, I'll show you. See here. Class student. Here we have two variables called name and roll number. And then this is a function called set value, which gets the value and assign it to the number variable. So from main program, we pass value like this. Then uh, we have a function called display where it prints the value of these two. Okay. And here I have given us this is from parent class. Then another chi a child class called mark, it is inheriting the student. Here we have the its own local variables, mark one, mark two, and total. Now here we pass this value using the set mark function. The value for mark one, mark two are passed, and inside that function itself, we calculate the value of total by adding these two and assign it to the uh, member variable called member variable total. Then we have a function called display, and here I have given this child from child class in order to differentiate which from where it is executing. Now here again we print the value of uh, name and a roll number. This is to show that we are able to access the parent variables. Okay, parent class variables. 
and then these are all the child class variables here we are printing then uh, when we call obj1 display only this will be executed okay not from this now i'll show you how it gets executed Name is method overriding one. Yes, well, if you see this, I'll show you. Um, here, first the instance is created, obj1, then we call the set value, which is defined in the parent class as if it is defined in the child class we are able to use it because here what we have instantiated we have created object is only of the type child but anyway as uh, we have already seen the child can access all the parent functions public functions and protected functions as well as variables so here set value and it, we have passed the value now once this is, this will be called and to this number variable the data will be assigned then what is the next step? We call this display. So now, which display? Now we use the set mocks of this child and we set the mocks. All those mocks and calculated in the total, etc. Then we call the display function. Now this will call only this. That's what we have. That is the output printer. This is from child class, the student name is and etc. That's what this printer. Now, if I want to access the display of the parent, how I can do this? Now, parent, I have to give the use the keyword parent and then this double colon and display. Now, this will call this. Now, I'll show you how this gets executed. Here, the first value is set, set marks. Now, the display is called through this display. This is from child class. This will be executed. Then, the parent class. This is from parent class and the value here printed is uh, get executed. This is nothing but student name, this name, and his roll number. So that is what is printed here. So this is what overriding, that is, and this happens only in the inheritance, because in, uh, in the, you cannot have the same signature, that is, uh, the same name, it, same signature means same number of arguments, same type of arguments. If you have that, that, that will be called as overloading. Okay, you cannot have the same function name here again, in the same class, this is a class, you cannot have the same, uh, you can have the same function name, but you can ha cannot have the same signature. So for example, the same thing I cannot have, like this. Like this I cannot have, but I can have some other thing like this. Now this and this will be considered, uh, even if the function names are same, the signature, that is the parameters are different. Okay, this way or uh, one parameter, two parameter, three parameter, based on that, it can differentiate. That is called overloading. That we will be seeing in the next video. But uh, overloading happens in the same class, whereas overriding happens only in the inheritance. That is from the parent class and the child class and its successes. So, which method has to be, if they will be having you can write the same every exactly the same thing and which will get executed will be decided only more by the either by suffixing uh, prefixing this or if you don't prefix anything then it just call its immediate child uh, method which is defined in that so that's why it's called overriding it overrides the method of its parent now the next one we'll see overriding in constructor how to because uh, in inheritance also we can write constructors and how the constructor can be 
uh, how you can do overriding with constructor that is what we are going to see the as the next one In this example, we are going to see the constructor overriding in inheritance. So when you say overriding, that itself can be applied only to the inheritance. That is, when there is a function with the same name, same signature in both the parent and child, which will get executed. So in that case, the child will override. The child function will override the parent so only the function which is present to the child will get executed that's what overriding now how it can be done in constructor is when you have when you are defining a class you can uh, build a constructor so let us take this example here we have the class called student name roll number etc and through constructor we assign the values to them to the local variables then we have a display function uh, for uh, verification i have given this as this is from parent class so that we will know from which uh, uh, display it will be printed and another function child class so another class child and it is inheriting the student here also we have three variables and we pass these values okay now how to write a constructor for a child class so now if you take this, see here, uh, since uh, you can send values, you can assign values for the parent also, because here also it is construct, here also it is construct. So naturally, this will only will get executed. Okay, the constructor present in child only will get executed and it will override the parent class constructor. So now what you have to do, if you give only uh, mark one and mark two uh, for these variables, if, if you say pass only these two, then you will not be able to pass values for the parent class. You can, uh, so what happened? Because only this will get executed, this will not get executed. So now this will be over, over this will override this constructor of the parent. So in order to uh, assign values for the parent class variables also, you can pass those values also here. So see here, same rule number that we are passing here. And then uh, we can assign the values for uh, this local, uh, that is uh, member variables of this parent class like this. we we'll assign and then calculate. Now what happened? Uh, then we write a curve function called display. So here actually there are two overriding things. One is constructor overriding and the function method overriding is also there. Now we created an object and which is of type that is child plus. For a child plus we instantiate an object and we pass the values. So these are all the values Anita and roll number and two marks. Now it will call only this. As I already told you when it is overriding takes place, when both have the same name, same signature. Here also the concept, the name is same. Okay, so now what happens? It will call only the latest, that is child, child class constructor only will be called. So that is why we are passing all these values and then we are uh, pass, uh, assigning values to this. Now what happens? Uh, this values will be assigned and then this display, this display will call only this. Unless you call explicitly as parent double colon and then display, only this will be called. Now we will see how this gets executed. Here this is from child class. 
this is what exhorted the student name is Anita and roll number is 18 CS1 75 and those added value is also printed. If I want to access the parent class display, then I have to give as usual what we have seen in the previous example display. Now the exhibits the display of that is this value also will be, this value also will be printed. See here. Suppose we want to, instead of uh, assigning like this, say for example in the constructor, in the child constructor we pass all the values and again we are uh, assigning it, instead of calling this constructor, the parent constructor, in, from, in the child constructor itself we assign the values for the parent constructor also. Instead of this, I want to call the constructor which is defined in the parent. How to do that? It's also easy. See here. I can do like this. Same constructor, I am passing the values from the main program. Uh, see this uh, object, then child class is uh, instantiated with the parameters for the parent also. Then here it will call the child, child constructor only it will call, which in turn will call the parent constructor. So here we pass its values and then how to call the parent constructor by uh, suffixing by sorry by prefixing parent a double colon and then uh, double underscore you have to call with the exact name construct uh, then uh, this parameter now this will call this constructor and assign the values here we are not assigning like in the previous program instead it calls its parent constructor and assign the values and then come back again here and it will assign these values so this is how it gets executed now we'll see how this gets executed. It is inherit two. This once it's inherit two, right. the same effect. So what happened here? This is from first it passes values to this constructor, and then parent is called, and the respective values is assigned. And uh, similar to that, the child uh, values are also assigned to the uh, local member variable and then what we are doing is display here what we do first this child display the uh, function defined in the child class is uh, overridden uh, this overridden and it is executed so that's what the system set up then we want to call the parent function overridden method so here we call that with this uh, prefix it now it gets executed. So this is how constructor overriding and function overriding takes place. So when I say overriding, it is between the parent and the child class. So overriding takes place only with the inherited functions. 